so today we are going to discuss two port networks so basically for discussing two port networks we must know what is a port so port it is a pair of terminals through which a current may enter or a leave okay so there there can be one port network there can be two port network three port four port so in your syllabus we are going to discuss only two port network so what is one port network so two terminal devices such as resistance inductance and the capacitance forms one port network so this is my r this is my l this is my c and these are the two terminals let us say it is 1 and 1 dash 1 1 dash 1 and 1 dash so basically the current is entering and the current is leaving so here also the current is entering and the current is leaving current is entering through one terminal and current is leaving through another terminal okay so can i can i make it like this this is one port network and it can be one port network this is basically a black box it can be anything resistance inductance or capacitance and there are two terminal terminal 1 and terminal 2 there is one current i which is entering the port and one current i which is leaving the port so i have written here current entering from one terminal must leave from the other terminal so the net current what what will be the net current it will be i which is entering plus minus i because it is leaving the direction is opposite so that means the net current is 0 amperes okay so this was all about one port network now two port network so in your syllabus we are going to discuss two port networks here now if it is a two port that means there is a input port here it is a input port and it is a output port right now the current entering is i1 and obviously if it is entering so it will be leaving here and now here also at output terminal the current is entering and the current is leaving here right and i can denote with 1 1 prime or 1 dash 2 and 2 prime or 2 dash okay and let us say the voltage at input port is v1 and the voltage at output port is v2 okay so this is our two port networks so i can write port 1 is the input port and port 2 is the output port one more thing you always think like from the output terminal the current is entering basically when we show the two port networks so we need to show at every terminal the current is entering whether irrespective of the input or the output terminal if the current is entering the terminal the current is leaving the terminal so this is the standard notation of the two port network right now this is basically two port network is a black box this is a black box here i can i can say that and there are some of the important properties of the black box so the first one it consists only it consists only linear and passive elements and second it may contain it may contain inductor and capacitance as well and it may contain the dependent sources but never contain any independent sources
the concept of dependent and independent i will explain you now now so our next heading is z parameters so we are going to solve the numericals on z parameters but before solving any of the numericals we will discuss what are z parameters so i discussed this is again a two port network this is a two port network right and the current which is entering is i1 and there is a current which is leaving as well so at output also the current is entering and the current is leaving so this is the output current i2 and this is the input voltage v1 and this is the output voltage v2 right now i said independent and the dependent so let us say i1 and i2 are independent variables what is i1 i1 is the current at input port and what is i2 current at output port right and i1 and i2 are independent variables and v1 and v2 are dependent variables and what is v1 v1 is voltage at port 1 and what is v2 voltage at port 2 right now can i write that v1 v1 here is dependent on i1 right so i can say it is a function of i1 or can i say v2 is a function of i2 so can i say like this v1 is a function of i1 and v2 is a function of i2 this is for the port 1 now if i want to write for the port 2 then can i write basically v1 or v2 are the function of i1 and i2 these are for the port 1 and port 2 right port 1 and port 2 now after this can i can i make the two equations the first equation is v1 equals to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 because v1 is basically a function of i1 and i2 so i have written here i1 and i2 but it is it is basically a function so i am just replacing that function and i am just giving a name z11 and z12 and can i write the another equation for v2 now v2 is a function of again i1 and v2 is a function of i2 as well right but i am now saying because v2 is for the port 2 so i am writing z21 plus z22 so this is my equation number 1 and this is my equation number 2 so why i represented it with z because z indicates the impedance so impedance and if it is replaced by y y means admittance so we are calculating the z parameter so i have replaced the function with the parameter z okay now can i replace this equation in a matrix form so if i need it need to write this in matrix how i will write i will create a matrix here right and i will write v1 v2 there is a matrix at input port okay is equal to so now i will write the parameters z11 z12 z21 and z22 like this 
okay and it will be multiplied with the current the current is i1 and i2 so these are the two equations in the matrix form matrix form of the equations so if we multiply these matrix we are going to get the these equations okay so i can say it is basically a voltage matrix v i can say it is a impedance matrix which is denoted by z and i can say this is a current matrix which is denoted by i right or i can write v matrix equals to z matrix multiply by i matrix okay so this is representation of the voltage in the matrix form in terms of impedance and the current okay now i need to find out z11 what is z11 now if we look at equation number 1 and if we need to find z11 then can i write it z11 equals to look at equation number 1 v1 over i1 but if i am just doing this term zero that means if i am doing i2 equals to zero so this second term will be zero and i can write z11 equals to v1 over i1 so can i write z11 v1 over i1 when i2 equals to zero right that means when port 2 is open circuit so port 2 is open circuit then we can calculate z11 and z11 is known as open circuit because the port 2 is open circuit driving point input impedance okay this is the name of z11 okay open circuit why we called it open circuit because port 2 is open circuit driving point input impedance input impedance because we are calculating at the input side okay so this is my z11 now i need to calculate z21 so again look at look at equation number equation number 2 i need to calculate z21 so if i am calculating z21 look at equation number 2 i need to make this term the second term zero that means i2 must be zero so let us say z21 so it will be equal to again look at equation number 2 z21 will be equal to v2 over i1 when i2 equals to 0 so i can write it will be v2 over i1 when i2 equals to 0 that means when again port 2 is open circuit right and i can name it what is z21 it is again open circuit forward transfer impedance now i have i have denoted it with forward forward because we we are it is a ratio of voltage upon current voltage upon current but it is second port divided by first port if it would have been first port divided by second port then it will it will be named as reverse okay so so let us see mm, let us see now z12 now how the z12 will be calculated for calculating z12 we need to see again equation number one and we need to put i1 equals to zero right so now we need to calculate z 1 2 so can i write v1 
over i2 but now in this case i1 equals to 0 that means now in this case input port that means port 1 is open circuit now can you tell me the name of this impedance so it will be again open circuit because port 1 is open circuit reverse now it is reverse because it is port 1 over port 2 reverse transfer impedance let us see z12 yeah z12 is v1 over i2 now we need to calculate z22 so z22 will be equal to again look at equation number 2 so it will be equal to v2 over i2 but i1 equals to 0 so it is v2 over i2 but in this case i1 equals to 0 so what what will be the name of this so i can say input port 1 is open circuit so what is the name of this one so it will be open circuit so it will be the same driving point driving point now it is the output impedance okay now i will just make a a figure of this one which will show the the basically the dip sources the dependent and the independent sources so if if i am showing the port 1 so it is basically the current i1 here and the independent sources source source is here z11 okay and the dependent source so dependent source is denoted with this thing this is basically a dependent source plus and one minus here and okay so this is the input voltage v1 and z11 is the impedance input impedance but it is dependent on z1 to i2 how this how this is coming now we are writing the two equations from this one so can i write it v1 minus z11 i1 minus z1 to i2 equals to 0 and v2 minus z21 i1 minus z22 i2 equals to 0 so can i write the two equations here v1 minus z11 i1 minus z12 i2 equals to 0 and v2 minus z21 i1 minus z22 i2 equals to 0 so these two equations from equation number 1 and equation number 2 so if we implement the first equation so here you can see v1 z11 here z11 is the independent source and z12 i2 is the independent source right dependent source sorry now come here at port number 2 so when we are making the port number 2 here so now in this case see the equation number 2 so you can say z22 z22 is the independent source and what will be the dependent source you can see the equation z21 i1 because the port 2 2 i2 is dependent on i1 right so it is z21 i1 and this is here current i2 which is entering okay so this is my port 2 so the term here voltage is v2 voltage is input voltage is this one so this is the port diagram of of the two port network okay so this is basically the explanation of z parameters so now in the next lecture i will explain you how to solve the numericals of the z parameters